What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be different than all of my previous ones because instead of actually playing a game, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to make your own siren pack. And really the only reason why I'm doing this is recently I had a TikTok that got over 130,000 views. I was using this siren pack right here, this resident.patrick. And in the comments, a lot of people were asking where they can get the pack, how they can use it, different things like that. And so I dug through my history and I downloaded it four months ago from LCPDFR and I tried searching it again for different ones, uh, but all of the ones I found are not 5M ready. So there's a process you have to do to make your Siren Packs 5M ready and that is exactly what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this video. So first things first, there's a couple things you're going to need in order to do this. The first and main one is going to be OpenIV. Without OpenIV, you have no possible way of doing this. You have to be able to take apart your resident to RPF, export it, import it, different things like that. So you need to make sure that you have OpenIV. If you don't, I will have a download link in the description below for you to download it. The second thing is going to be archive fix. Again, a download link will be down in the description, and I will also show you how to use archive fix. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is your siren tones for this video. I'm going to be using modern siren pack. There's tons of different siren, siren tones out there that you can use. Uh, but more specifically, we're going to be doing the Syncom. So I already have the Rumbler version. I already have it archived. I think it's actually this one. Yep, Resident Art Rumbler. But we're going to be using these sounds right here, the non-Rumbler version, to make it basically just another variation of it. So you're going to need your siren tones. Then the last thing that you're most likely going to need is going to be a vehicle's dead air thing. I will also have a download link in the description for this as well. But so basically what this is, is it has these different files, right? And so as you can see, the size is very small on them. The reason for that is because there is a certain size limit for your resident.rpf. It needs to be under 16,132 kilobytes, okay? If you go over that, either 5M isn't going to launch, or if it does magically launch, you're not going to have any audio at all. So what these are, these are basically just empty files uh, to replace the ones that are in the resident already, so that way it can kind of bring down the file size some. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So before we even dig into OpenIV, first thing you're going to want to do is create a new folder on your desktop. You can name this literally whatever you want. It doesn't matter, just as long as you know exactly which folder it is and where it is at. Once you have that done, go ahead and open up OpenIV if you don't already have it open. And you do have a resident.rpf file in your mods folder. You can use that one if you want. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use my regular one because I have a copy of it right here that I know is archived and working, so no harm, no foul done. But once you find your resident.rpf, you're going to double click it, and then it's going to show up this AWC container, or audio wave container. Uh, and the one you want is this vehicles.awc. This is the file earlier I was talking about. I said resident.rpf on accident. This is the one I meant. You need to keep this under 16,132 kilobytes, otherwise it won't work like I said earlier. But once you've found this file, you're going to right click on it and export to open formats. Uh, it went ahead and opened it in the folder that I wanted to use. Uh, but if not, go ahead and go to your desktop, locate the folder and select it. And so then that is going to export this AWC into that folder. So once you open up the folder, we can close OpenIV now because we don't need it for the time being. You're going to have a vehicles.oac and then a vehicles folder. These are all of the sounds like related to vehicles in the game. And so all of these right here, all of these random ones with just numbers and letters, that is where this zip comes in handy. Uh, because if you need to try and bring the size down a little bit, a lot of these just have little sounds hidden in there that you won't even notice are gone in game. Uh, so, but it replaces a couple of these. Uh, and then there was also like the fart and some other ones, but yeah. I, if it's too big, we'll try it. We'll see what happens. Uh, but so we have this vehicles folder, right? So we're just going to drag this over here. We don't even need to worry about the OAC right now, just the vehicles folder. So this siren pack that I'm going to be doing right now in this video, it will already have the fire sirens in. 
uh, due to the fact that I'm basically taking a uh, RPF file that already has them in it, and I'm only replacing the police sirens, but I will show you how to do both of them. Uh, but so what we're going to do is we're going to open up our folder for uh, our wheel and sound, right? So this is just my modern siren pack folder. This is what it was, wheel and engineering, and then the syncom. And so these are the ones I'm going to be using, not even all of them, really. So what you're going to want to do is go down. Uh, so this one right here says Siren 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to go listen to Siren 2, all right? So that is going to be your secondary. And yeah, so that works. So what we'll do is we will copy this, and we are going to paste it over here. Do I want to replace it? Yeah, I want a different siren. Duh. So then the next thing is we're just going to have to kind of listen to these. So police warning. All right. So then we are going to want to look over here for police warning. I forget my alphabet sometimes. Uh, where? Oh. Okay. Yep. So police warning. We are going to want to replace that. That's the touch, touch master high low in case any of you all were wondering. Uh, so we'll go ahead and paste that over here. So we have those two done right those two are good manual one that's that's going to be for your fire truck we don't want that ambulance warning yeah we don't need that either this is the one that we want okay this one that's the horn we may replace the horn but we want to deal with this first so that is like our primary siren so this is where the fun part comes in you got to figure out which one it is. Now, since I've made this CHP pack, I know exactly which one it is. You're going to want to do some digging. At, towards the end of the video, I'll go over and kind of talk about where I place my sirens. Uh, I do play on controllers, so that will kind of come into effect as well. But so as you can see, they're named two different things. So what I'm going to do is since they're the same thing and I know I want to replace it, I'm going to rename this one to siren underscore that's not caps siren underscore p a two zero a underscore whale right so then i'm going to copy come over here paste boom and so now our our sirens are good right and if we really wanted to that's the horn uh I don't remember where the horn is. Is it? It's not that one. I can tell you that. Uh, I'll do some digging and figure out exactly which one the horn is. Uh, so that way we can make sure. If you want to replace it, I can tell you exactly where it is. So I've came to the conclusion that it is this air horn underscore EQD. I'm not 100% sure, but we are about to find out. So I'm going to go ahead and name this to the same thing. Because I am going to test the son of a nutcracker. I did it again. Airhorn underscore EQD. I am going to test this at the end of the video just to kind of make sure everything works. Uh, so then I'll be able to verify if this is the correct file or not. But yeah, so that is good. Our police sirens are good. And like I said, the fire sirens are already in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you which ones I normally use for the fire sirens. Uh, so this Resident V2, this is actually this pack, right? This is the CHP one, the one that we are currently editing. This is the original folder for it. Uh, so the way I have it set up is for, we'll just kind of start at the top. So ambulance warning is the Q. So then come down here. Let me find F. Uh, so fire truck horn, I use air horns. So that is where that goes. And then we go down to our siren. Here it is. So fire truck quick. It doesn't really. You can use kind of whatever quick siren you want for that. Uh, and then the whale is what I have as the power call. Uh, and yeah. So that's really it. It's just simple stuff. If you want to replace the fire sirens. And whenever you're making your own pack. That's the setup I use. Uh, and I'll go ahead and talk about it a little bit more. At the end of the video. But so our star impact's done. That's it. Boom. We're good skis. So you can close that. I probably shouldn't have closed that because I'm just going to have to open it again. Uh, so go ahead and open it up again. 
Once you have them both open right here next to each other, you're going to want to turn on edit mode, click yes, and then make sure that you are clicked on this vehicles.awc. You're going to go to new and then import open formats and it should open in the folder that you were just working on. Go ahead and verify that. Uh, so this is the folder that we were in. So you're going to click this vehicles.oac and open and then click OK and boom. Now it is in here and I that's very surprising how much lower it is. Uh, but we, we're going to give it a test and we're going to see what happens. So your resident.rpf is good now. The only step that you have to do is archive it. So that is where the fun stuff comes into play. So what you want to do is just, it's good, right? That's good. So you can go back to your sound effects folder, find your resident.rpf, and just kind of drag it onto your desktop. Boom. Close open IV good to go so the next thing you want to do is open up your archive fix folder as you can see archive fix folder is now open we have our resident.rpf here is our .exe file we're going to click and drag this on top of our .exe it is now done boom done that's it where it, it, it's done so press the any key to exit so boom we pressed I think we press C but so you can close that now it should be good you should be good to go so we're gonna go ahead and put this in our sound effects folder like I said uh, yeah I'm just gonna straight up copy it and paste replace the file in the destination close that and now we're going to get in server and see what happens. Alright, so we're on the server now. We will go ahead and spawn ourselves a police car. We will see if the siren pack works. It definitely sounds like it is. So we know that we got the police sirens right, everything is working just fine there. And the next thing we will do is I will go ahead and show uh, what I was talking about with the fire trucks and uh, uh, ambulance. So left on the d-pad turns on the lights, right? Now if I go down on the d-pad, the order is going to be power call, quick, and then Q, alright? Power call, quick, Q. Now, if I go up on the D-pad, it is going to be the Q. So, I have it set up that way because the Q in a fire truck, that's you don't change the tone of the Q. It's a pedal. It's either going or it's not. So, that's why I have it set it up that way. Like I said, if you make your own siren pack, you can obviously change it however you want to. Um, but yeah, so whenever they're both going... See, so, and I'll go ahead and spawn an ambulance as well just to uh, show that. So, whenever I go up on the D pad in the ambulance, it is a Q siren. Um, but yeah, like I say, you can play with it yourself uh, if you want to adjust that, if you want to give the ambulance the power call and whatnot. Personally, whenever I'm running EMS, or rescue in a server uh, I don't ever use it so it doesn't really affect me that much but I know some people may so you know you're more than welcome to look into it and change it yourself but uh, yeah that's really it for this video if you found this video helpful go ahead and give it a thumbs up uh, if you want the siren pack that I just made in this video you can join the discord and invite will be down in the description below join it open a ticket ask me for the siren pack uh, this is the wheel and Sencom, so just say you want the Sencom pack or whatever. I'm trying to keep them all in the same place, that way I can send them out pretty easily. Um, but yeah, you can literally join, get this iron pack, and leave if you want to. 
uh, that'd be kind of unfortunate. But, you know, you could do whatever you want. But, yeah, Siren Packs are going to be in the Discord. Just open a ticket and ask me for them. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoy the video. And I will see you next video.